Welcome back to the High Yield Video Question Bank. In this video series, I'm trying to help you train your brain to recognize high yield patterns and think like somebody who's trying to solve a puzzle so that when you take USMLE or Comlex, your brain has already recognized high yield patterns and knows what to expect in order to get the question correct. Today's question says, a 66-year-old female with no past medical history presents to the emergency department complaining of a cough productive of a yellow-green sputum for the past 36 hours. She's brought in by family members who state that she has been otherwise her normal self. Her blood pressure is 99 over 70, heart rate 92, respiratory rate 22. A chest x-ray is consistent with pneumonia. The following set of labs are obtained. BUN is 18, creatinine is 0.44, sodium is 140, and potassium is 4.0. Which of the following levels of care is most appropriate at this time? A. Outpatient follow-up. B. Emergency pulmonology consult in the emergency department. C. Hold in the ED for observation. D, inpatient general medical floor. Or E, intensive care unit. Pause the video if you'd like to think about this. And if you're ready, I'm going to give you the answer and go into the explanation. So the correct answer here is A, outpatient follow-up. And if you're looking at this question and thinking to yourself, huh, this kind of seems like a clinical question. Is this really fair game for step one? The answer is yes. And with that said, it's a perfect segue into the concept that you need to be familiar with, which is called CURB 65. So CURB 65 is a point scale that we use to determine what needs to happen to folks who come in and are found to have pneumonia. Basically, it is a point scale with certain categories and the points are added up and based on how many total points the patient has, you can figure out, are they safe to be discharged? Should they get admitted to the hospital or should they get admitted to the intensive care unit? CURB 65 stands for confusion, BUN, respiratory rate, blood pressure, and age greater than 65. Now, when you look at CURB 65, you have to look at the scale and ask yourself some questions. So for confusion, it's a simple yes, no question. Does the patient have confusion or do they not? For BUN, the question is, is the BUN 20 or higher? For respiratory rate, the question is, is the respiratory rate 30 or higher? For blood pressure, the question is, is the blood pressure less than 90 over 60? And for age, it's a yes, no question. Are they older than 65? Now for each of these categories, you can get one point assigned. So if they have confusion, they get a point. If their BUN is 20 or higher, they get a point. If their respiratory rate is 30 or higher, they get a point. If their blood pressure is less than 90 over 60, they get a point. And if they are aged greater than 65, they get a point. And of course, because there's five components of CURB 65, the most amount of points that any patient could score on this scale is five. So what you do is you look at a question and you calculate the CURB 65 score for pneumonia. And once you have that score, you can then determine what you need to do with the patient. And the way, the way that you should think about this is if the score is zero or one, they can be discharged and go into the outpatient setting to follow up with their primary care physician or just treat themselves at home. If they're scoring two, they get admitted to the hospital, generally on the general medical floor. And if they're scoring three or higher, they actually go right to the intensive care unit because it's a really severe case of pneumonia. Now, how do you remember the interpretation of the CURB 65 score? The way that I memorize this is that for zero to one, I replace the O and the T in outpatient with zero and one. So that reminds me that if you're scoring zero to one, you know, zero or one, you go outpatient because the zero is what the word starts with, and I replace the T with the one. So zero or one is outpatient. And then three or more is the ICU because there are three letters in ICU. So if you score three or more on CURB 65, you go to the level of care that has three letters, which is the ICU. And then by the process of elimination, I just remember that the one in the middle must be the one that I haven't talked about yet, 
which is inpatient. So zero, one, you go outpatient, two, inpatient, three or more, ICU, because there's three letters in ICU. So this is how you use CURB-65. And again, this is only going to come up in questions where they give you a patient with pneumonia or they describe somebody with pneumonia and they're asking you, should they be discharged? Should they go general medical floor? Should they go intensive care unit? And again, I know that this is a very clinically oriented question that you might expect on step two, level two, step three, level three, but it's really showing up more and more. So you should commit it to memory now. You'll also uh, impress your attendings if you know the CURB-65 score. So now that you understand how CURB-65 works, let's go back to the practice question and work through it using CURB-65. So here's the practice question exactly as it was written before. And I put CURB-65 on the bottom left-hand side of this screen to just help you kind of solve through this question. So the first thing that we notice is the patient's age, right? The question tells us that the patient is a 66-year-old female. So because she's 66, therefore age greater than 65, she scores a point for the age category. Now let's go through, I guess we'll just go straight down, confusion, BUN, respiratory rate, blood pressure, and look at if there's going to be points scored. So for confusion, the question told you that she's brought in by family members, but say that she's been otherwise her normal self. So what you can infer from that sentence is that there's no altered mental status, and therefore the patient does not score a point for the presence of confusion. What about BUN? Well, the question tells you in the lab section that BUN was 18. And because you only score the point if BUN is 20 or more, there's no point scored for BUN. For respiratory rate, the question tells you that the respiratory rate is 22. And while that's certainly an elevated respiratory rate, in order to score a point on CURB-65, the respiratory rate would have to be 30 or higher. Therefore, the patient in this question does not score a point for respiratory rate. And then lastly, we've got blood pressure. The question tells you that her blood pressure is 99 over 70. And in order to score a point on CURB-65, your blood pressure has to be less than 90 over 60. So this does not meet that criteria, and therefore, the patient does not score a point for blood pressure. So when it's all said and done, if we apply CURB-65 to this practice question, the patient is only scoring one point, and it's by virtue of her age. So now the question was, what happens? outpatient, inpatient, or ICU. And if we put our interpretation of CURB-65 back on this slide, we can recall that zero or one points is outpatient, two points is inpatient, and three or more points is the level of care with three letters, so the ICU. In this question, she only scores one point because of her age, and therefore, the correct answer is to discharge the patient to take care of herself at home or do outpatient follow-up. So the high yield bottom line of this practice question is that CURB-65 is used to determine what should happen to a patient who comes into the ED with pneumonia. Do they get discharged with an antibiotic to take care of themselves at home? Do they get admitted to the general medical floor? Or do they get admitted straight to the intensive care unit? Confusion, if yes, one point. BUN, if greater than 20, one point. Respiratory rate, if greater than 30, one point. Blood pressure, if less than 90 over 60, one point. And age, if greater than 65, one point. Zero to one outpatient, two inpatient, three or more, the level of care with three letters, ICU.